family it's pastor john dada here i welcome you to our youtube channel i know that this word you're about to listen to is gonna bless you so please share this video share this word and if you haven't already subscribe to our youtube channel like and turn on your notification button so each time a new word is uploaded you don't miss out i look forward to hearing your testimonies god bless you as you listen to this word let's dive in i was going to preach this word again because god gave me this word you know for the year to chart the course of the year so i don't want to leave it until too late i want it to still be at the start of the year amen so i pray that this word blesses someone because whilst preparing this word again yesterday i was so excited. i couldn't wait to come to church i was very excited in my spirit hallelujah we are sorry the projector is not here it's not working today it's here it's not working today so let's turn our bibles matthew 6 31 to 33 it's a very popular scripture matthew chapter 6 31 to 33 He says, <clears throat> so don't worry about these things, saying, what will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. But your heavenly father already knows all your needs. Your heavenly father already knows all your needs. But, that means instead... Instead of seeking these things, going after these things, instead, seek the kingdom of God above all else. Above all that you need. Above all that you think you need. Seek the kingdom of God above all else. And his righteousness. And he will give you everything. Hmm. Not some of the things you need. He will give you everything you need. Hallelujah. I'll be speaking on the topic kingdom mindedness. That's what God is calling us to in 2022. To be kingdom minded. To be kingdom conscious. It's all about his kingdom. It's all about the kingdom. Like I said on New Year's Eve, God already knows all that you need. All that you will even need. You know those needs that you are yet to know that you need. He knows them all. But he still insists. Even though I know you have a need. Even though you know you have a need. Don't go after this need. Don't run after this need. Seek my kingdom. Seek me first. Don't go after this need. Because as cruel as it might sound, your need is the least thing on God's mind. God is all about kingdom. As cruel as it might sound. Your need is, the, is, is so minute in the grand scheme of things. He's all about kingdom. Verse 32 says, These things, these needs dominate the thoughts of the unbelievers. It dominates. It takes over. When something dominates, that means it's taking over. It takes over the thoughts of the unbelievers. So God wants to believe that you are not an unbeliever. Because if your need should dominate your thoughts, if all you do is the first thing you wake up, that goes on your mind when you wake up in the morning is your need. The last thing before you go to bed is your need. <laughs> then you're an unbeliever. That is why he, he, he was very right in putting a demarcation and differentiating. Are you an unbeliever? That means by your thoughts, you can actually know what you are or who you are. So this, this need dominate the minds, dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. Because whatever dominates your mind, it takes your focus, it takes your attention off what is truly important. And unknown to you, it becomes your God. So God does not want your needs to become an idol in your life. He does not want you unknowingly practicing idolatry. So he now redirects your gaze in order for you not to commit or practice idolatry. He says, now, do not focus on these needs. Instead, focus on me. Focus on my kingdom. Because all these needs, they lie in the kingdom. They are in the kingdom. The needs that money can buy, the needs that money can't buy. Money can't buy grace. Money can't, hmm, talk about healing. Forget about healing. Divine health supersedes healing. Money can't buy divine health. Money can't buy mercy. It's a year of mercy and judgment. Money can't buy mercy. Money can't buy judgment. Money can't buy open doors. Money can't buy breakthrough. Money can't buy long life. So these things that even money cannot buy, they all lie in the kingdom. So he, de he redirects your gaze and your focus. Don't focus on these needs because those needs are perishable. But the kingdom is not perishable. He says focus on the, on, on the source. The kingdom is the source that births all these needs. Hallelujah. 
The kingdom is a source. So God is calling us to be kingdom minded in 2022. He's calling us to kingdom consciousness and kingdom awareness. Hallelujah. In Genesis chapter 25, verse 5 to 6. Genesis 25, 5 to 6. The Bible tells us that Abraham gave gifts to his sons. The sons of Keturah, the five sons of Keturah. The Bible says he gave them gifts. And whilst he gave gifts to the sons of Keturah, to his other sons, the Bible records that he gave Isaac all that he had. What did he have that he gave Isaac? So he gave to his other sons, he gave them cars, he gave them money, he gave them landed property, he gave them real estate, he gave them livestock, he gave them jets and all that. But to Isaac, he gave all that he had. What was all that Abraham had that he gave Isaac? Abraham gave Isaac the kingdom. Hey, Holy Ghost, please help me. Abraham gave Isaac the kingdom because Abraham knew that the kingdom was not perishable. Abraham knew that if Isaac could have the kingdom, everything that he gave to his other sons, Isaac would have a million times and more. He knew that everything, if Isaac can only stay within the circumference of the kingdom, if Isaac can walk in the principles of the kingdom, if Isaac carries the kingdom, it does not matter where Isaac goes on earth, Isaac will prosper because he carries the kingdom. So the kingdom will produce for him every other gift he gave to his brothers. He gave him all he had, the kingdom. Because the kingdom works. The kingdom is powerful. The kingdom bears fruit. He gave him all. Location. <laughs> Location cannot hinder a man who is carrying the kingdom. Location cannot stop a man who is carrying the kingdom. It's because we don't know who we are. It's because we are not walking in the consciousness of the kingdom. That's why we think it cannot work for me here. It cannot work for me there. This place is white community. This place is Asian dominated community. This place is this or that. When you know who you are, you know that you carry the kingdom and you walk in the kingdom. You will succeed and thrive anywhere you are. In Gerard, there was famine. There was scarcity. There was barrenness. The land was barren and hard and dry. Yet, because a man carried the kingdom, let's go there. Genesis 26, 1 to 3. Hey, I can't satire. Holy Ghost, help me. Genesis 26, 1 to 3. Then I'll go down to 12 to 14. I'll just keep it a bit. It says, there was a famine in the land besides the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went to Abimelech, king of the Philistines in Gerah. Then the Lord appeared to him and said, dwell in this land and I will be with you and bless you. God said this land that everyone is complaining, there is recession, there is scarcity, there is barrenness, the, the ground is not producing anything. Please can I have this water? The ground is not producing anything. He says dwell in that same land. In that same land, dwell, don't move. Thank you very much. Doc. Thank you. Hallelujah. Water break. Dwell in that same land. Don't go anywhere. Then verse 12 says, Then Isaac sowed in that land, the barren land, the unfruitful land. Isaac sowed in that land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold. In the same land that everyone was complaining about. In the same land that people were running away from. Hey, Malekando Zotanaya, can you remember that Naomi and her husband had to leave their land because there was famine and there was scarcity. And they had to go to another land because of famine. And God said to a man in that same land where there is famine, stay there. A lot of people run helter skelter and what they are running away from, they find it worse where they get to because they are not listening to God, because they are not walking in the kingdom, because they don't know who they are. It does not matter what goes on in the land. If you know who you are and what you carry, any land you step on will yield to you its harvest. In that same land where there was scarcity, this man sold and he reaped in the same year, not in three years' time, not in ten years' time, not in five years' time. In the same year, he reaped a hundredfold and the Lord blessed him. The man, hey, yeah, 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 the man began to prosper in the land that was barren. The man began to prosper. The Bible says he continued to prosper. The Bible says until he became very prosperous. In the kingdom, there is no limitation to your prosperity. In the kingdom, there is no limitation to how far you can go. There is no limitation to your success. That is why the Bible is on the path of the just. It shines brighter and brighter. So if you saw brightness in 2021, I am here to declare to you that you ain't seen nothing.
nothing yet because God takes you from one level of glory to another level of glory. There is no limitation in him. He is an overflowing kind of God. When he was pouring the water, David said, my cup run it over. God could have stopped, but he wanted to tell David, there is no limitation with me. I can go on and on and on and on and on. I am inexhaustible. I have more than enough. There was no limitation to Isaac's prosperity, to Isaac's growth, to Isaac's success, because he carried the kingdom. Verse 14 says, he owned flocks, herds, and a great supply of servants, and the Philistines envied him. Somebody lift up your voice and declare that I will be envy. Pray. It is not good for people to look at you and pity you. Don't let people, don't be joyful when people look at you and say, ah, oh, sorry, oh. No, 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 no. You should be envied. They should envy your marriage. They should envy your business. They should envy who you are. They should want to be like you. They should wonder, how are you doing it? In these times of recession, in these times of hardship, in these times of scarcity, how are you thriving? Show us the way. Tell us the secret. Lift up your voice and tell the Lord, make me envy. Make me the envy of many. In the name of Jesus. Nobody will look at me in 2022 and pity me. They will not look at me with the eyes of pity. They will not look at me with the eyes of pity. They will look at me. I want to know my God. They will look at me. I want to know my secrets. In the name of Jesus. Above all, Isaac was a foreigner. He was an immigrant. I speak to you. That in the land that you're an immigrant, in the land that you're a foreigner, you will excel, you will thrive, you will rise. There will be no limit to your rising in the name of Jesus. You will thrive that the owners of the land will come and say, what is going on? How are you doing it? You will become their envy. They will look and say, "Mm, there is something about him. There is something about her. In the name of Jesus. A foreigner thrived in that land because he carried the kingdom in him. He carried the kingdom. Others were complaining. And he was wondering, what are they complaining about? Because he was not experiencing what their, their, their complaints was all about. He was wondering, ah, you say you're not eating all day. God, and I'm even suffering from being over full. What's happening? He didn't understand. Because he was not in, he was, he was in the earth. Hey, though you are in the world, but you are not of the world. He was in the land, but he was not of the land. He was operating from a different economy completely. So he was not seeing what their eyes were seeing. Because he carried the kingdom. Tell yourself the kingdom works. The kingdom works. The kingdom works. Holy Ghost, please help me deliver us. I, oh, help me, Lord. In the same Genesis 22, I don't want to go there again because of our time. You know, he prospered so much that they did not just stop at envying him. They now hated him and sent him away. They now began to fight him. Leave us, leave us. You're taking all of our jobs. You, you hear them say, you're taking our jobs. You're taking our jobs. You're taking everything. It's blacks here. It's, you're taking, they say, go, 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 go. You're taking everything. You're taking our lands. You're taking our jobs. You're taking everything. They sent him away. And he moved. He didn't fight. <laughs> when you walk in the kingdom, it's not every war you will fight. It's not every battle you will fight. He did not fight them. He left. And when he left, he dug a well. There was water. The amplified version calls it living water. Hey, Levayanda Kandaya. Somebody will produce living testimonies this year living breakthroughs this year living prosperity living joy in the name of jesus the bible says he, he produced living water and they came and they fought him he said okay oh, my enemies have come he left it for them he went on to that place they fought him he left it for them he went to that place they fought him, and they realized you know what it's not about the location because we have been fighting this man it's not about the location is this man himself there is something about this man it does not matter where we chase him to it does not matter where he goes to he will still succeed because he's carrying the kingdom because he's a man the kingdom is in him the kingdom is bearing fruit the kingdom is manifesting the kingdom is his reality they realize it's not the location oh kingdom does not care about where you live it does not care about your geographical location people might complain i said where did you go to settle there in the entire uk you went to settle in accrington you went to settle in blackburn it's a village tell them it's not about the location it's about who i carry it's about what i am it's the glory it's the kingdom at work therefore when men are said there's a casting down i arise and i say there is a lifting up in the name of jesus it's not about the location it's kingdom business family it's kingdom business. It's kingdom business. Let's quickly see verse 28 of still Genesis 20, 26. <laughs> they now came to him. 
the king came so they replied we can plainly see without a doubt we can plainly see that the lord is with you so we want to enter into a sworn treaty with you let's make a covenant they could not deny that he carried the kingdom oh jesus hmm the world will not be able to deny that you carry the kingdom this year if only you can walk in this principal family the lord the world will not deny they saw the kingdom factor in isaac they saw the god factor in isaac they could not but bow to him ah your adversaries your friends are like they cannot but bow to you because you carry the kingdom the kingdom makes the difference in your life they could not they came to him they said now nah, we see so we, 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 we realize that there's no point fighting you and I think the wise thing to do is that since you are the one with the Midas touch, let's partner with you. We will give you ideas. We will tell you what we want to do. But you execute it because we can say that your hands are blessed. We can say whatever it is you touch is blessed. So we will give it to you. This is the idea. But you carry it out. You transact it. Because as long as you touch it, because there is something about your hands. Hey, da, 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 da. Your hands are the extension of God's hands. Declare in 2022. My hands are the extension of God's hands. My hands are the extension of God's hands. Everything my hand touches prosper. Everything my hand touches prosper in the name of Jesus. Your hands are the extensions of God's hands. Hallelujah. Amen. He didn't fight them. He left them. No one that scripture says when a man's ways pleases the Lord, he will make even his enemies to be at peace with him. When you walk in the principles of the kingdom, when you carry the kingdom, you don't need to fight every battle. They will come back to you and say, um, we, we, we thought it wrong. Sorry, we are so sorry. Let's make a deal. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, I said on New Year's Eve, the kingdom is not just a factor of location as I've been saying earlier. The kingdom is not just in you actually. The kingdom is you. You are the kingdom. Somebody may say, Pastor, it's heresy. <laughs> I pray that God opens people's eyes. You are God's kingdom. It's not just, you're not just carrying. You are, you are, you are, you are that kingdom. Now, the Bible says in Luke chapter 17, verse 21, you know, the Pharisees came and they asked Jesus, where is this kingdom? Please tell us the location. Tell us, where is this kingdom? Jesus said to them, verse 21, Now will they say, see here or see there? For indeed, the kingdom of God is within you. So Jesus said to them, they will not say, you know, when you get to um, Accrington, when you get down from the train station, just keep going left, 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 left. When you get to the end of left, just turn right. When you turn right, keep going right, right, right. When you get to the end of right, just start going. It is not like that. That is not the kingdom. He said the kingdom is not here nor there. It is within you. I love easy translation. It says, God is already ruling in the lives of his people. God is already ruling in the lives of his people. A kingdom is a realm, a domain where someone reigns and is in charge. That is what a kingdom is. Where someone is in charge. Where someone reigns. In our homes, we are all kings there because we are in charge. We reign. And unknown to us is that each time we pray, we pray every time, Lord, come and reign in my life. Lord, come and rule in my life. Come and be Lord and master. What are you saying? Make my life your kingdom. That's what you are saying in essence. You just don't realize it. You are saying, make me your kingdom. Make my life your kingdom. I have come to announce to you, family, that you are God's kingdom. Don't let the devil tell you any less. You are God's kingdom. When you walk, walk with confidence. I am God's kingdom. I am God's kingdom. I carry the kingdom. I am God's kingdom. Hey. I remember in those days when I was in the University of Calabar in Nigeria. I, 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 you know when you just fall in love with the Lord newly? I was, I was feeling this fire. There's so much fire in me. I could literally stand before a gun and tell them, shoot me not. That was how confident I was. I would tell people, hm, I am fire. I, was just, I am fire. Don't try me. I am fire. Don't, I was that confident. Don't try. I am fire. In class, they used to call me, hey, bring fire, extinguish fire. Don't come. Oh. You know, they would make jest of me. But I was walking with so much confidence. I am fire. I am fire. Because I could literally feel the fire burning in me and around me. And there was this confidence with me that I, I had that nothing can touch me. If they come, they come at their own peril because I felt, I knew that there was fire in me. That is the kind of consciousness and awareness God wants you to carry in 2022. I am God's kingdom and whatever is not common with God's kingdom, whatever is not customary, 
and your tradition with God's kingdom cannot work in my life, cannot prevail in my life. They are strangers and I banish them. You reserve the right to banish them, to send them out. You reserve the right. What can they ask? Trespassers. They are trespassers. The entire scripture, Revelation 7, in fact, the entire scripture tells us what is peculiar, what is customary with the kingdom. It tells us in the kingdom there is no shame. No barrenness, no tears, no darkness, no failure, no disaster, no calamity, no premature That is what is customary, common and normal in the kingdom and with the kingdom. So if you know that you are God's kingdom, and that is why God wants us. Because a lot of times the enemy rob us because we don't really know who we are. So God wants you to know who you are. So as you start 2022 knowing your identity, then nothing can play with you. You must know who you are. You must walk in the consciousness that you are God's kingdom. Therefore, nothing outside God's kingdom. Hmm. This consciousness, this consciousness begins with knowing. It begins with knowing. 2020 to make friends with the word of God. Go and search what is tradition in this kingdom. What is normal in this kingdom? What is peculiar in this kingdom? When you know these things, that is when you will not be able to entertain some certain rubbish because you know. Matthew 6, Christ taught us to pray. He says, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. Thy will be done in my life as it is where? In heaven, the other side, the eternity side of the kingdom. So you must first of all know what has been written, what has been said concerning you in the other side of the kingdom. Then your job is to bring it down to the side of the kingdom and walk in dominion and power because now you know that is your job. Because there is something written of you in the other side. That's just the, thy kingdom come. What he's saying is that let the kingdom of that side and the kingdom of this side align and become one. So as there is no tears in the other side of the kingdom, there cannot be tears in this side of the kingdom. As there is no failure in the other side of the kingdom, there cannot be failure in this side of the kingdom. As there is no shame in the other side of the kingdom, as there is no darkness, there cannot be darkness or shame in this side of the kingdom. You have now brought the two kingdoms to emerge and your life is all about glory and power. So you must know you must know what has been written and what has been said. Because if you don't know, life will throw anything it likes at you. It's not just about being born again alone. God wants us, he has, the Bible says he has given us all things, not some, that pertains to life and godliness. Lazarus was born again. Lazarus knew God. But he lived as a pauper on earth. Why? He did not understand his identity. He didn't know that he carried the kingdom within him. He didn't know that he is the kingdom in fact. And he died a pauper. He died a poor man. That's not God's will for you. That's not God's will for you, kingdom carriers. That's not God's will for you, kingdom of God. That's not God's will. He wants you to enjoy all the goodies of this earth. Not just to come and live here. Then you know, they will go, to, go, go to heaven. And okay, you'll be content. No, no, no. He would show you all that was available to you. All that was within the circumference of the kingdom that you did not tap into. And you will feel sorry for yourself. God, God. I heard of this story. I'm sure maybe a lot of us have heard that story. This man got on the plane and um, they were serving food. And each time they came to him, he said, no, no, no. And they thought maybe he's fasting or maybe he just doesn't like to eat water break. Amen. So they thought, okay, maybe he's doing one of those things. Sorry. And... After a while, I think they were almost landing or so, he realized and somebody asked him, why have you not been eating all this time in this flight, six hours or eight hours or how many hours, you've not been eating? He said, because I don't have the money to pay. He said, it's inclusive in your ticket. He said, really? Bring, bring, bring. It was too late. It was too late. So if you don't know what is inclusive in your ticket, what is rightfully yours will elude you because you don't know. Ignorance is not bliss. It is not bliss. When I was growing up, I used to hear ignorance is bliss. It's not bliss. Because if you don't know what is your right, what you are entitled to, eludes you and passes you by, it is not bliss. So you must know, you must educate yourself, make yourself aware of what you are entitled to as the kingdom carrier. Amen. I want you to shout it loud to yourself, I am God's kingdom. I am God's kingdom. I am God's kingdom. Say it until your consciousness accepts it and knows, I am God's kingdom. 
out that concerns you is God's kingdom. Your marriage is God's kingdom. Your job is God's kingdom. Your business is God's kingdom. Your career is God's kingdom. Your ministry is God's kingdom. All that concerns you, your children are God's kingdom. You are God's kingdom. Therefore, anything that is not normal with the kingdom cannot find way in your life. Send them out. Begin to send out whatever is not normal with the kingdom. Ah, yalabadosa, taradadada. Mare, can they lift up your voice? Begin to command everything that is not normal, not customary, not common to God's kingdom. Shame, retrogression, backwardness, whatever the enemy has programmed for you and your household in 2022. Save them notice. Save them notice. Save them notice. You have no way in this kingdom. You have no place in this kingdom. You have no place in this kingdom. I am God's kingdom. All the concerns is God's kingdom. I flourish in every aspect of my life. Now I know who I am. Devil, you cannot trick me anymore. Devil, you cannot deprive me of my rights anymore because now I know. I know who I am in Christ Jesus. I am God's kingdom. I am God's kingdom. I excel. I thrive. Anywhere I find myself. Anywhere I find myself. I excel in the name of Jesus. Anywhere that life takes me to, I excel. It does not matter if they chase me out of Essex and I find myself in Sydney. I still thrive. It does not matter where they chase you out from. Wherever you find yourself, you thrive because you carry the kingdom. You carry the kingdom. You carry the kingdom. You are God's kingdom. Say, I know who I am. I know who I am. Thank you, Father, for this revelation. Thank you, Father, for this revelation. I know who I am. I am God's kingdom. Hey, I send trespasses out. I send trespasses out. I send trespasses out. Whatever is trespassing in my life, I command you get out. In the name of Jesus, retrogression, get out. Backwards, get out. Shame, get out. Failure, get out. Disaster, get out. Limitation, get out. In the name of Jesus, untimely death, get out. Luck, get out. Affliction, get out. You are a trespasser. And I serve you notice. I serve you notice. No more will I be deprived of my rights, Satan. Because now I know who I am. Now I know who I am. Now I know what I carry. Now I know who I am. I know who I am. I know who I am. In 2022, I do exploits because I carry the kingdom. I do exploits. I do exploits. La batada ya. Whatever is not the character of the kingdom cannot be found in my life. Whatever is not the character of the kingdom cannot be found in my home. Rabashita le de 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 de. Oh Satan na 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 na. Ya kanda da 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 da. Azale tode ye. Rada da 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 da. I know who I am. I know who I am. My life is God's kingdom. Zakonta Satan ne ne ne. Thank you Jesus. Le basata ya. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. The kingdom has a language. The kingdom has a language. Begin to pray in the language of the kingdom. Rata di da do sata. Le bara ba 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 ba. Pray in the language of the kingdom. Ya konda soto na ye. Le bari ba 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 da ba da. Sata le bato da ya. Z d d d d d d. Le da 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 da. Asha ta la to de ya. E re da kanda da ba de ya. E le bo do soto de ya. Ma sete ye. Speak the language of the kingdom. Speak the language of the kingdom. Ya kanda ri ba to da ya. Ma sata na na na. That language actually drives the trespassers away. That language actually makes them uncomfortable. Speak the language of the kingdom. Ra ba 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 da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba. E sha ta da 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 da. Ra ba 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 da ba da. I kanda la ba zota ne. Ra konda ra ba zi ba to da ya. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! I give you praise, Abba Father. We worship you. Hallelujah. I want to give someone an opportunity. You may be listening to me here. Or you may be listening to me online. Because the thing is, your life cannot be a kingdom if God is not ruling in that life. It's the presence of Christ as king in your life that makes your life his kingdom. And that makes your life a kingdom. So if you know that Christ is not ruling yet in your life as king. Or maybe he has been ruling, you gave your life to Christ. But all of a sudden, you know, the pursuit of daily bread... The pursuit of the things of the world or material things and, you know, heating and roof and whatever it is has taken you away from the kingdom. And you want to rededicate yourself. This is an opportunity. Because you can only become a kingdom if Christ is in that kingdom. So I will give you an opportunity if you are here. You want to rededicate. You want to give your life completely afresh or you are listening. Just say the simple, it's very simple prayer with me. Just raise your hands wherever you are. 
I say, Lord Jesus, I acknowledge that I am a sinner. And I acknowledge that you died for me. You who knew no sin became all of mine that I may become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And I thank you for being my righteousness. I therefore confess with my mouth that you are Lord and King of my life. I therefore invite you to come and reign and become that King of my life. Today I denounce the devil and I denounce the world. I believe with my heart that you are Lord and you are King and you died and you rose after three days and you live forever. Therefore come and reign, O God. I submit my all to you. Come and reign and rule. Be in charge of all that concerns me in the name of Jesus. If you have said this prayer, I welcome you to the family of God. I welcome you to the kingdom of God. And I want to just say this. Being the kingdom of God is not just a 2022 thing. It's all the days of your life. But God just wanted somebody to walk, to start this year with that assurance, with that awareness, with that consciousness, so the enemy doesn't deceive you anymore. Father, we thank you for this word. Let this word take root in the lives of your people, Holy Spirit. Let it bear fruit in the name of Jesus. Let them walk every day of this year knowing that they are your kingdom. And let all that is character of your kingdom begin to manifest in their lives from this moment henceforth. In the name of Jesus. Let their path shine brighter and brighter. In the name of Jesus. Let their rise be without limit. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit. We give you all the glory and all the praise. In Jesus name. Come on somebody celebrate the king of glory if you are blessed. Celebrate the Lord if you have been blessed. Hallelujah.